Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I made some simple Christmas ornaments using things from my craft stash along with a few things from my trash. So let's get started. For the first ornament I'm using the lid from a tea tin. You could also use a lid from a glass jar or even a plastic lid. I started by using my crocodile to punch a hole in the side for the ribbon hanger, but you don't have to do this step. You can just glue your ribbon to the back or the sides. Next, I glued on some leftover resin snowflakes to the back. Again, this is not necessary. You can leave it blank. I then gave the outside a coat of paint and let it dry. To decorate the outside rim, I used a fondant mold and some air dry clay on one of them and then used some leftover gimp trim for the other. Again, this is just an option. I was just trying to disguise the fact that it was a lid. I then painted the inside bottom with white paint. When that was dry, I decoupaged some Christmas images on. I'm using some rice paper that I already had. You could also use a piece of wrapping paper or print a picture from your computer. I decided I would rather have these silver, so I repainted them and set them aside to dry. Next, I glued a string of small plastic beads on the inside of the lids and then used the two-step crackle medium over the images and let it dry. Again, you don't have to do the crackle finish if that's not the look you want.
I then use some umber antique paste to highlight the crackle. To finish it, I added a ribbon hanger and then hot glued some tinsel trim around the outside rim along with a Dollar Tree bow. The tinsel is from the wrapping paper section at Target. For my next ornament, I'm going to be using a baking cup and some small items from my craft stash. I started by gluing a tinsel pipe cleaner to the inside of the baking cup to make a handle. I then cut a styrofoam ball in half and glued it inside the cup so the flat side would be on top. Next, I just started gluing all the items in place. To cover the styrofoam, I glued in small pieces of tinsel garland and then added small ornaments and holly leaves. On some of the handles, I added jingle bells or wood beads. I was just going through my stash and seeing what I could use for each one. For the top of the handle on this one, I used one of the phrases from an old Christmas card.
To finish it, I glued some glitter around the bottom rim and also along the outside of the Christmas card piece. For this one, I still had two of the ladies from a previous project left over, so I glued the image onto a second piece of cardstock and then fussy cut the image out. I then glued a craft stick to the back to help stiffen the image, but also to use to glue into the styrofoam. I then used some trim and tinsel to decorate her dress. To finish this one, I just hot glued some tinsel trim along the bottom rim.
For the next ornament, I drew a bell shape onto a piece of cardboard and then cut it out. I then ripped some tissue paper into small squares and used Mod Podge to glue it over the cardboard. I did a few layers and I didn't worry too much about getting wrinkles in it. After the glue was dry, I gave it a coat of silver paint. When the paint was dry, I decoupaged a Christmas image to the center of the bell. Again, this is personal preference and you don't have to do this step. I then used a silver contour liner to decorate the border of the image. Next, I covered the silver paint with Mod Podge and then sprinkled it with silver glitter. When the glue was dry, I sealed the glitter with hairspray. To finish it, I used hot glue to attach tinsel trim around the edge and then added a ribbon hanger.
For my final ornament, I started by using a scalloped paper punch to make some circles. I glued two circles back to back for a sturdier base. I then used a smaller punch to cut out several circles from an old hymnal. You could also use wrapping paper for this instead of the book pages. After cutting out the circles, I then glued them into small cone shapes and set them aside. After I made the cone shapes, I used a small amount of glue on the edge of the cones and then dipped it into some green glitter. When the glitter was dry, I used hot glue to attach them to the cardstock circle. I just started on the outside and then worked my way into the center. Once the entire thing was filled with the cones, I glued on a piece of cord for the hanger. I then glued on a small round plastic piece into the middle of the ornament to help elevate the Santa image. You could also use a button for this. The Santa image was just cut from a piece of cardstock, but you could also use a piece of a Christmas card or something similar. To finish it, I glued on a dollar store ribbon and added some glitter glue around the Santa. I hope you enjoyed these projects. I know they're a bit on the simple side, but I always like to make a variety of ornament styles every year. I also want to thank everyone for watching and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.